Hey guys, Morax here and welcome to my second Magic the Gathering unboxing. Today we're going to do the brand new set Magic Origins. Uh, I'm really hoping here for a Liliana, maybe a Foil Lily and yeah, who knows what else. I'm not that familiar with the cards out of the set just yet, but we'll see how we go anyway. So, here we go. Shrink wrap is off. Here we go. What comes next? Wow, exciting. Not really. Okay. Here we go. So these are pretty cool. We get um, different planeswalkers on the front here on each of these. Um, Jace there as well. Who am I missing? There we go. So there's all five planeswalkers on the front of these packs, which is kind of cool. So I think today we're going to start off with a. Oh, should we start? Let's start off with Jace. Let's put these ones away. Start off with Jace. So just like in the last one, I'm not going to be going through all the commons just because it makes the video slow and boring. Okay. Let's just go through. Okay, straight into the uncommons. Magmatic Insight, Scab Goliath, and Ram Roller. Our, la our rare is Lanoir Waste, so we've got our Painlands again back in this set. A swamp and a Nothing. Straight past the commons again. Okay, Tormented Thoughts, Goblin Glory Chaser, and Fiery Conclusion are the uncommons. The rare is a Displacement Wave, X and 2 blue, return all non-land permanents with converted mana cost X or less to their owner's hands. Interesting. Oh, and we have a rare foil, Hyxus Prison Warden. It's a 3 and 2 white for a 4-4 four, four flash. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, if Hyxus Prison Warden entered the battlefield this turn, exile that creature until Hyxus leaves the battlefield. Cool, that is a nice looking foil too. Don't know if you can see that very well. And planes and a Thopter token. Yeah, Thopters. I played in the pre-release and I hate Thopters, that's all I can say. Alright, what is next? Bye bye commons, go away. I don't care about you, you don't care about me. It's a hate-hate relationship. Whatevs. Okay, uncommons, Elemental Bond, Acolyte of the Inferno, and Revenant. The rare... Oh god, how the hell do I pronounce that? Alhamaret, High Arbiter. 5 and 2 blue for 5-5 five, five flyer. As he enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose the name of a non-land card revealed this way. Wait, what? Oh, your opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name, as long as this creature is on the battlefield. Eh, it's pretty expensive, but not bad. Alright, another Thopter token. You can just go away, Thopter token. I don't like you. Next pack. Go away, Cummins. Alright, where are we? Patron of the Valiant. 3 and 2 white for a 4 4 flyer. He's an angel, he's got very cool artwork. I don't know if you can see that. When Patron of the Valiant enters the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Hmm. Sure, it's, it could be okay somewhere. Oh, sorry, that was an uncommon. That's okay. Citadel, Castellan, and War Oracle. The rare is another Painland, Caves of Koilos. Alright, Painlands. Oh, we have a foil common. Thornbow Archer, a black elf for one black, one two. When Thornbow Archer attacks, each opponent who doesn't control an elf loses one life. So that's actually quite a fun little creature. Alright, Soldier Token and an Island. I'll try to go through this a little bit faster. Just read the rares and the foils. Okay, straight through the commons. Okay, uncommons. Oh, 
Brawler's Plate, Shadows of the Past, and Thopter Engine. The rare is Abbot of Carol Keep. One and one red for a 2-1 prowess. When Abbot of Carol Keep enters the battlefield, exile the top card of your library. Until end of turn, you may play that card. Uh, could be fun. Forest and a piece of junk. Uh, oh, left half the pack behind. Okay, where are we? Commons. Go away, commons. Oh, reclaim, cool. Okay. Uncommons. Iroas' champion. Totem Guide Harter Beast and Skyraker Giant. And the rare is a Molten Vortex. One red. Uh, you may it's an enchantment, you may pay a red, discard a land card. Molten Vortex deals two damage to target creature or player. I think it's probably gonna be quite a niche card. And more crap. Okay, let's go past the commons again. Swift Reckoning, Blazing Hell, Hellhound, sorry, and Consul's Lieutenant. And we have Hallowed Moonlight. I like this card. This could be used, I think, at least sideboarded. One white, one colorless, until end of turn. If a creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead and draw a card. Could be fun. A forest and a piece of junk. I'm sure there'll be plenty of videos, unboxings that go through the commons, so that's why I'm just going through the commons quickly, because I don't care. Okay, uncommons, Seismic Elemental, Angel's Tomb, and Flash Bang, Flash Bag Marauder, been playing too much Counter-Strike. Okay, the rare is a Thopter Spy Network, two colourless, two blue. It's an enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control an artifact, put a 1-1 one, one colourless Thopter artifact creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Oh. Whenever one or more artifact creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Hmm. Interesting. Forest and piece of junk. Okay, where are we going? First uncommon, Whirl of Rogue. Conclave Naturalists. Ha, <laughs> Naturalists, nice. Malakir Cullblade. The rare is a Guiltleaf Winnower. Three colourless, two black for a 4-3 elf with menace. When Guiltleaf Winnower enters the battlefield, you may destroy target non-elf creature whose power and toughness aren't equal. Hmm. Not bad. Goodbye Sea Joinos, Tassigas. Uh, what else have we in modern? Obviously you've got uh, Goyfs. Interesting. Mountain. Piece of crap. Oh my gosh, come on you piece of crap. Smash the smithereens, yeah. Okay, commons, go away, commons. Okay, cruel revival, gather the pack, and possessed scab. What a great name. Okay, the rare is an honored, I honored Iraq? No, honored Hierarch. One green, one one human druid with renown. As long as Honored Hierarch is renowned, it has Vigilance and tap to add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Hmm. Be good if he was an elf. Anyway, an island and another Thopter token. Freaking Thopters, man. If anyone knows a clean way to open packs quickly, let me know. Okay. Oh god, how the hell do you pronounce this? Girapur Ether Grid. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Valor in Akros and Gold Forged Sentinel. The rare is a so oh, first mythic, Starfield of Nyx. Not bad. Four colourless, one white. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. As long as you control five or more enchantments, each other non-aura enchantment you control is a creature in addition to its other types, and has base power and toughness equal to its converted mana cost. Hmm. And 
we have a foil common, wild instincts. I won't bother reading it because it's just a common. Forest and a zombie token. Cool. Can you see that even? Is the light alright? Mm. Anyway. Okay. Let's go past the commons. Cruel Revival. Angel's Tomb and a Seagulled Starfish. I don't know how to pronounce that. And we have a rare Vryn Wingmare. Two colourless, one white for a 2 1 flyer. Non creature spells cost one more to cast. That could be fun. Mountain and a piece of crap. So I haven't actually played Standard since I came back to Magic two months ago, but I actually quite like the cards in this set. Some of them seem like a lot of fun to play, so Origins might bring me back to Standard, who knows. I love my elves, and there's a lot of nice elves in this set. Okay, Prism Ring, Necromantic Summons, and Valoron Wardens. And we have an Evolutionary uh, Leap as the rare. One green, one colourless. Enchantment, one green, sacrifice a creature. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Could be fun, I guess, if you're using tokens or just little shitty creatures. Planes, piece of crap. Okay, Murder Investigation, Eye Blight Massacre, and JM Day Tome. It's cool artwork. Okay, Rare Tragic Arrogance, 3 colourless, 2 white. For each player you choose from among the permanents that player controls an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker. Then each player sacrifices all other non land permanents he or she controls. Hmm, bit of board control. Swamp, and a Goblin Token. Okay, Cummins. Psychic Rebuttal, Skyraker Giant, and Rogue's Passage. The rare is another Painland. Ah, Foil Swamp, beautiful. I don't know why, they're just basic lands in foil, but it's something. there's something always exciting about getting a foil land. I like them anyway. Island and a goblin token. I'm excited for battle for Zendikar too. If it's anything like the first Zendikar, it should be pretty sweet. Okay. Yoraga Invocation, Consecrated by Blood, and Thopter Engine are the uncommons. The rare is a Hangerback Walker. Double X for a 0 0 artifact creature. When it enters the, battle, uh, enters the battlefield with X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, when it dies, put a 1 1 colorless Thopter artifact creature token without, uh, sorry, with flying onto the battlefield for each plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. And you can pay 1 and tap it to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Hmm. So it really looks like Thopters is going to be a thing in this set. Interesting. Forest and a Knight token. Let's make a little bit more room over here. Is that still all in frame there? No, it's not. It doesn't matter. We'll come back to it all anyway. Commons, oh. Uncommons, Brawler's Plate, Meteorite, and Enthralling Victor. We've got a Hyxus Prison Warden, 3 colourless, 2 white for a 4 4 flash. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, if Hyxus Prison Warden entered the battlefield this turn, oh, I just already got him, but as a foil. Oh, we've got an Uncommon foil as well. Valor in Akros. Yay, foils! And a mountain, and a piece of crap. Okay, let's just fix this up a little bit so you can still see everything. Okay, you can see everything now, very good. Uh, 
Uh, still got quite a few boxes to go. Sorry if this video is dragging on. I might stop the current commentary at some point and just fast forward like I did with the Modern Masters box. Because there's nothing worse than a super long unboxing video. Whirler Rogue, Goldford Sentinel, Enthralling Victor. Okay, Painland and a Foil Common Majoring Bully. Does look cool though. Mountain Goblin Token. Okay. Ravaging Blaze. Throwing Knife. Anchor to the Ether. A Relic Seeker. Oh, this could be fun. It's a one colorless, one white for 2 2, Renown 1. When Relic Seeker becomes renowned, you may search your library for an equipment card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Hmm. Fun times. Island piece of crap. Open. There we go. Alright. Sigil of Valor, Thunderclap Wyvern, and Dwynan's Elite. Helm of the Gods. Uh, one colorless, it's an equipment. A quick creature gets plus one plus one for each enchantment you control. And a quick cost is one. Planes, piece of crap. So no big pulls yet. I mean the Starfield to Nyx is okay, but nothing massive yet. And one Mythic down, so we've still got a couple of Mythics to go, hopefully. Psychic Rebuttal, Chief of the Foundry, and Revenant. The rare is a Scab Clan Berserker, two red, one colorless for a 2 2 haste, renown one. Whenever an opponent casts a non creature spell, if Scab Clan Berserker is renowned, Scab Clan Berserker deals two damage to that player. Yeah, kind of like a mini Rurik Thar in a way. Not bad, not bad. Planes, piece of crap. Sphinx's Tutelage, Totem Guide Heart Beast, and Shaman of the Pack. Ah, Languish, nice. I was hoping to get a couple of these. Awesome. Two black, two colourless. All creatures get minus four, minus four until end of turn. Fun card. Thinking about playing some of those with some Tassigas. Excellent. Would love to get a few more of those. Um, uh, what do you call it? One of these things and a piece of crap. Okay, the other Aether Greed thing, Somberworld Alpha and Dwynan's Elite. Oh, we got a Jace. Excellent. That's cool. So, there's going to be plenty of guides online on what Jace does. I'm not going to read it out here, but there's one side. You can probably read that. Pause the video if you need to. And when he flips, there's Jace flipped. Alright, excellent. First Planeswalker. Happy with that. Another one of these things and a zombie token. Zendikar Incarnate, Hydro Lash, Turn to Frog. Ah, oh, we're gonna Managorja Hydra. I mean, everyone I've talked to about this thinks it's pretty average. It probably is, but I think it's a fun card. So it's two colors, one green for a 1-1 one, one creature with Trample. But whenever a player casts a spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Mana Gorge Hydra. So I know he's not fantastic, and there's other cards printed in other sets that are similar, but I think he's fun. I think he'll be fun. I think he can get pretty big pretty quickly. Anyway. And a Forest and a Thopter. Sorry about that guys, camera ran out of memory, so I hope we didn't miss too much there. Anyway, let's get going. We're down to the last nine or so packs. 
Here we go, what are we at? Okay. Warhorn, Call of the Full Moon, Reclusive, Reclusive Artificer, Sigil of the Empty Throne. This card's not bad, 3 and 2 white, it's a reprint of another one that got done. Enchantment, whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a 4-4 white angel with flying onto the battlefield. And a common, heavy infantry as a foil. Mountain, Elf Warrior. Blazing Hellhound, Throwing Knife, and Jessian Thief. And our rares and Outland Colossus, 3 and 2 green for a 6 6 renown 6, and it can't be blocked by more than one creature. Swamp and an Elemental token. So far, this is a pretty bad box. There is nothing really that great yet. I mean, the Jason Languish are good, but other than that, Pretty average box, quite dismal actually. Oroas's Champion, Anointer of Champions, and Naru Trapper. Priest of the Blood Rite, 3 colorless, 2 black for a 2 2 cleric. When it enters the battlefield, put a 5 5 black demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. At the beginning of your upkeep, lose 2 life. Eh, it could be worse, but could be better too. Swamp and a Knight. Down to our last six packs now. Let's see if we can get something to save the box. So far, nothing. A nice languish foil would be nice. Shadows of the Past, Zendikar's Royal, and Undercity Troll. Another Mythic, Archangel of Tithes. Ah, very good, not bad. 1 plus 3 white for a 3 5 flyer angel. As long as it's untapped, creatures can't attack you or a planes where you can, you can control unless their controller pays one for each of those creatures. As long as it's attacking, creatures can't block unless the controller pays one for each of those creatures. I like this card. Very nice. That's so four mythics. And a planes and a zombie token. Okay, box got slightly better. I would still really like a Liliana though. Probably not going to happen. Already four mythics. Sigil of Valor, Ruined Servitor, and Fiery Conclusion. Sword of the Animist. Uh, two colorless equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever equipped creature attacks, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library with an equip cost of two. Then a forest and a legendary creature token, a Shire the Awoken World. Down to the last four packs. I would call this an average box, nothing amazing. So far, anyway. Let's see if four packs can save the pa save the box. Rune Servitor, Towergeist, and a Jesse and Thief. Hey! Alright, Liliana. I'm happy now. We got a Jace and a Lily. Okay, all of a sudden this box became pretty good. So, I won't read what she does to you. You can read that yourself on the internet. There's plenty of spoilers, but... Front and flipped. Okay, very nice. One of these things and a piece of crap. Alright, so far pretty happy. No big foils unfortunately, but some pretty nice regular regular pulls. Prism Ring, Necromantic Summons and a JM Day Tome. The rare is a Talent of Telepath for 2 and 2 blue. Target opponent reveals the top 7 cards of his or her library. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from among them without paying its mana cost. Then that player puts the rest into, into his or her graveyard. Wow. Spell Mastery. If there are 2 or more incident or sorcery cards in your graveyard, you may cast up to 2 revealed instant and or sorcery cards instead of 1. Hmm. Interesting. Island Thopter. 2 packs. Sky Snare Spider, Sylvan Messenger, and Bounding Crassus. The rare is a Knight of the White Orchid, 2 white for a 2 2 first striker. When he enters the battlefield, uh, you may search your library for a Plains card, put it onto the battlefield, and shuffle your library if your opponent owns more lands. Not bad. Mountain Thopter. Last pack. 
Let's see how we go. Blood Coast Knights, Towergeist, and a Blessed Spirits. Look at the artwork on this. Isn't that creepy? Okay, another mythic. Alhamaret's Archive. So five mythics. So this is five colorless artifact. If you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. If you would draw a card, except the first one you draw on each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Hmm, interesting, interesting. And we got an Uncommon Sigil of Valor Foil. Okay. Alright, so here's our Mythic and Notable Rares pulls. Nothing amazing. We did get a Lily, a Jace, Archangel of Tithes, and a Languish. But other than that, no real good foils, but yeah, still, I'm happy. So, yeah, there you go. I'll be doing a uh, Battle for Zendikar when it's released in October as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. See you guys in Standard.